little problems we've I recognize over the years of hook trim. I've driven over 100,000 cows personally and myself. We designed hook trimming equipment for the farmer, for the veterinarian, for the hook trimmer. And on these younger cattle right here, a lot of people want to do the younger cattle, the first calf heifers. And what we got is we got a lot of pith, or no, no, no hoof rim growing in that area. And what I tend to see people in beginning hoof trimmers do is they try to bring that this part of the foot down to that level and they lame the cow up severely. You'll see there's an indentation in here going in here, oh, probably about a half an inch. And this is where an area you get in a lot of trouble with, you get a lot of over trimming, and what you don't need to do. So I guess I'm just going to use a knife right here and carve that area out right there. You're not too worried about, well, you want to make sure the manure can escape from the area, it's not impacted in there. And like I said, a lot of people have problems with the area. They try to bring this foot down to the level that, that needs not to be. You see our white line right here. We're not going to go in. This is a young animal. She's got three inches from, from the top part of her toe down to here. And so it's very simple. Already. A lot of people think, well, then you got to get a lot of that manure out of there. you got to clean that out of there. No, it really has nothing to do with that. She's got a good balance. She's got good hoof on there. She's got equal, she's a young cow. Don't over trim. It's one of the most frequent things that most hoof trimmers do and, and beginners do, and even, even a lot of the best. So leave more on. You can't put it back on. Always leave more on if you have to if you're a beginner. Thanks for checking in at EMP Equipment, Paul for the Good Equipment. My name is Paul Buscock. Check with us, checking in with us from time to time.